What's going on guys, what's happening? My name is Rick Z. Today I am showing you some Briss and Break Krant gameplay in the background. But um, anyways, enough about the gameplay. I think that's enough time. Uh, but let's just jump in into the meat of this video. And so we're going to be starting off with a little bit of updates that Infinity Ward is working on to implement in the future. And we're going to be starting off here with uh, restricting uh, certain items in competitive rules. First of all, they're going to be restricting the ghillie suit, the tracker site, and danger close. Another thing that they're going to be doing is disabling third person when you're spectating in competitive matches, private matches, and adding a kill feed to broadcaster mode, as well as addressing the broadcaster mode stability with uh, crashing bugs and uh, stuff like that. We saw that a lot with UMG Philly, where we were watching actually an SND and you know the broadcaster mode would just like mess up and so they're going to be addressing that which is really great for um for future MOG events or even the COD championships which are coming up in a couple months moving on to rule sets they're going to remove the split screen in private matches when esports rules are enabled they're going to add esports rules to clan versus clan playlist and wait guys wait wait for this they're going to open clan v clan playlist to allow solo players to enter with um, with a max mixed variety of teams in clan versus clan. So what does this mean? This means that League Play is back guys. For the second year in Call of Duty, League Play was an absolutely beast game mode in Black Ops 2 and it's back guys. And I want to thank every single one of you who shared that video that I posted a couple weeks ago about bringing back League Play. Uh, Infinity Ward actually did listen to us and they're going to be taking those steps to implementing League Play sort of game mode in Call of Duty Ghost. Now, uh, moving on, they're also going to modify the Dead Silence and Amplify breakdown if or this, the functionality between them. If you guys saw any breakdown videos of both of those perks, you could see that Dead Silence is a little bit more superior than Amplify and so they're going to be... Um, fixing those type of things now uh, I want to address a little bit of SND what they're going to be doing there they're going to uh, resolve the diffuse timer animation discrepancy which again in UMG Philly UMG Philly the the timer messed up and so one team lost because of the animation and um, they're going to be resolving that as well as modifying the diffuse time sound effect if the diffuse process is cancelled but once again let's touch a little bit of broadcaster mode they're going to add game action overlays where needed such as flag captures uh, bomb defuses you know just a little bar on the bottom to show you or indicate that uh, what's happening in the game which is awesome from a spectator mode it's going to be great um, but they're not done yet they're also going to resolve the leaderboards red that indicator delay which kind of ruined the SND for me personally in UMG Philly you couldn't really tell how many team team players were left and so it kind of uh, messed up SND for me and the, the hype type stuff um, again they're going to be rolling over player in scoreboard when you're rolling over a player in the scoreboard to show the same player in the mini map so kind of fixing up a little bit tidying up uh, loose corners here and there for the broadcaster mode and lastly they're going to add a new platform for land support which is going to be the xbox one uh, i believe bucket today bucket from mlg said that uh, some of the tournaments in the call of duty championship that's again coming up in a couple months um, it's going to be played in the Xbox one and of course you're going to do land so they're investing a little bit of time in figuring out that kind of things anyways these are all the future updates that are that might come they're working on it right now infinite Ward is, and uh, I was actually amazed that infinite Ward is actually listening to us which is really awesome when a developer does I mean you can see Treyarch they did a spectacular thing with Black Ops 2 but uh, yeah the one thing that got me is League Play I mean I can't wait for that to be back I think the last few months of Black Ops 2 that's all I did I just played constantly League Play but anyways guys I'll catch you guys later these are all the updates again you can check them down in the description I'll have a link to the whole article if you guys want to read that but uh, make sure to subscribe guys I'll catch you guys later peace out and right before I got back on break, I was like 180, 180. Nice work, <laughs> well in the world, so. 
this week is the highest I got this week with many now. And I was at like 430 now. I think I got a draw. And I'm holding like 147 right now. I think that's probably too. I don't know what I'm at. I was 30. I mean, the highest I got, like, during prime time when I was even playing, I was like 